Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for another video. This one comes out of Sandpoint, Idaho. Uh, there was recently a protest there for some people that were kicked out of the library for not wearing masks. There is no mandate from the city or the county uh, up in Sandpoint, Idaho, that would be Bonner County. But they have the library, the board of trustees of the library has taken it upon themselves to create a policy which applies to the people who work there, not to the people coming in uh, that they have to wear masks. Well, the people that work at the library have taken this policy that's for them and applied it to the rest of the people. So they are refusing entry or kicking people out. So this first video is just when the protesters were outside on the sidewalk holding their signs to raise awareness for what they were doing. Uh, this guy that you'll see, uh, he was yelling at him. I wasn't actually there to uh, capture any of the yelling he was doing. Uh, I was actually in front of the library documenting the signs requiring masks and things like that. But when I was walking back to the sidewalk, I heard this guy yell at them, Just wear a goddamn mask! So I thought I would go approach him and ask him if he wanted to make a statement as to why he does, he thinks we all should be forced to wear masks uh, when we go into a public area like this. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. I was up there with North Idaho Exposed. Links to his channel and his video on this incident are in the description. Uh, remember to hit the like button, share this video with everybody you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave me a comment with your thoughts. Hey, did you want to make a statement about why they should be wearing masks? Because it's, if you have it, you should wear a mask. Like, more or less, if you don't have it, I guess you don't really need to unless you're worried about getting it yourself. But if you have it, you should definitely wear it because then you're just spreading to other people. But my mom's a nurse. She, wor she works eight hour days, maybe sometimes 12 hour days, and she has to wear a mask the whole damn time. Okay. As a nurse, so I um, don't see why you can't just wear a mask to go into the store for like an hour. Well, so because your your mom has to wear a mask her entire shift, these people should be forced to when they go into a store? Uh, yeah, because I, I don't want other people with, if you have the virus, coughing or like even just getting stuff onto the food. Well, or, I mean, you know, I, I understand that concept, but for example, like, I don't want people running into my car when I go out and drive, and I can't control that, right? I can't control what other people do unless unless I want to be in an authoritarian state where we, we dictate what people do in their lives, right? Well, but if uh, compared to other countries, everyone else uh, did this wearing a mask and their rights are down, but we haven't done this and people are still going against it and we're still on an incline. So if all the other countries said that white males, for example, between a certain age killed more people than anyone else, we need to get rid of those white males or at least a certain percentage of them. Would you be okay with that? I mean, because statistically they're killing too many people according, you know, in this scenario, would you be okay with that? I mean, it's the same concept. Because some people want you to do it, you're forcing everyone to do it. It just seems like well, if you want to wear a mask, put on a mask. If you don't, why are you yelling at other people because they don't want to? Because I understand you say there's evidence to prove that masks help with preventing the spread of disease. And there is evidence. I will agree with you with that. But that evidence, all those studies that have been shown to me that, that show that, they also say if they're used in the correct setting. So like when a doctor goes into surgery, puts on a surgical mask, his hands have already been scrubbed, he goes into uh, a setting that's already been scrubbed, it's a sterile setting, there's nothing in there. And then when he leaves, he takes it off and he scrubs his hands right away. So everything has been sterile. So in that situation where he used it correctly, it helps. But it's also just a small percentage. Like, can you quantify the percentage of how much it helps by me, by forcing me to wear a mask when I go into a store? What's the percentage of help that that gives? Don't know, but... So you can't quantify it, but you'd rather force people to wear masks? More or less, because it just, it's... I know as American people are like, want like freedom to the, like the highest degree, but at some points, if we can get this over with, and just get it done with, like just by wearing masks, then just get so you think wearing so masks. You wearing think gear. wearing masks is going to make the virus go away? Not entirely, but because that's not what they've even the ex the people who are telling us and dictating, not just telling us, but actually forming laws to make us mask up. Well, laws you are, okay, laws are dumb, but like it's just common courtesy. Just if it says go into the store and where it says wear a mask, just 
But do you understand the reason that most of these stores are putting them up is because they're being they're being threatened with violence and extortion from the government saying if you do not do put this sign up in your store, we're going to fine you a certain amount of money. So they're not just doing it of their own free will. If they were doing it of their own free will, this would have happened back in March when this all started. Right. But they're not they're not doing it of their own free will. They're doing it because the government is forcing their hand. Well, in the first place, if that was really such a big issue, then why did everything just not just stay shut down even longer? Well, because we have people need to be able to be free and live their lives. And if you shut things down, your people can't do that. That's why. So f here's what I would say. For the first couple of weeks, I'm, a, I'm an anarchist. I don't believe in any form of government or anybody ruling over my life. So, But for the first two weeks, while this was brand new, even though I was very highly suspect that we haven't been, been told the truth by, our, by the people who rule over us, I, I even, even me, said, you know what, for, I'm going to give you guys the benefit of the doubt for a couple weeks and just make sure everything's, you know, make sure this isn't some horrible virus like you say. And then once the true information started coming out on the mortality rate and stuff like that, it made me make a decision for myself and what's best for me and my family and my community. But I, having someone rule over me and make a decision for me just doesn't seem to make sense. Well, it's more less, I'm not worried about me getting it and me getting sick because it's not going to affect me. It's right. the elderly that are the Well, ones. I understand it. So I have a son who's severely disabled, who's supposedly in this group that is that is highly, you know, capable of getting it and, and having bad problems. So. I understand where you're coming from from that, but I also have a grandpa who's elderly. Here, let's move out of the way. Here, I, want... I also have a grandpa who's elderly, and I don't want anything to happen to him. But he's been trapped in his home for since March. He hasn't been able to really see anyone. The rules there don't make any sense about who can when, when they can leave, when they can't leave. So my grandpa says, "Look, I'm old, elderly. It's my time to go. I've got other ailments. Yes, this might be something that makes me more sick, but there are people that believe in living their lives instead of." Like to me, life isn't to be lived stuck in my home. Life is to be lived out here and experiencing life. That's life. If I'm stuck in my home because the government says there's a virus out here, that's not life to me. Life is living. So I'd rather come out and take the risk that everyone else takes, whether they're elderly, young, middle-aged or what. Everybody takes the same risk when they leave their house. And now, in today's economy, there's even more and more opportunity to stay home and not leave. So why is it that I'm forced to wear a mask when other people can choose to stay home and not leave their house if they if they don't want to take the same risk as me? That's the and I understand you're you you're a very decent person because you're not trying to force anything on anyone and I understand that and that's we can come to common ground having conversation. I just don't think yelling at people is a way to have a conversation and come to any common ground on anything. Sorry to interrupt yeah. Can I offer you guys a I know I'll take one though. There's more or less of your take. There's a car literally on the corner that is forcing other people when they turn in here to go on the other lane. Is it? Uh, so it's like the whole thing. Well, it's two parts, and I'm so sorry. I don't. Oh, good. This is not stable. You're good. It's supposed to be stable. It's eight pages long. All that right. That's the first part. Okay. That's the second. Part. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm always good with more information. Yeah. yeah. I understand your point, but like, why do you have to like you. protest about it? It's not that big of a deal. In that, in that sense of. Like, if you, if you don't want to wear a mask, just don't wear a mask. But I guess, I guess if you go into Walmart, I haven't seen in like Super One or any of the smaller food grocers. But I can understand Walmart, like they're bigger or something like that. And, well, and if, if Walmart on its own, without being threatened by the government saying we're going to fine you if you don't put up these signs, if Walmart wants to put up a sign, or even private business wants to say, hey, you can't come out in here without a mask. That's their decision, but if if our government is threatening them and coercing them to make that decision behind it, I'm not okay with that. Does that make sense? Yeah, but sometimes you need gov more government intervention. But once this blows over, then government will be back to normal and back up. Oh, you think government's going to shrink? You think this government's going away? Has government ever done that? Well, if they don't back up, then at that point, then I'll get mad if they don't back up after the coronavirus. So you're going to let them get bigger and have have more control over your life, and then if they don't. Only if this, they don't, then you're going to be mad. I'm when saying like after the like after this year and this coronavirus has actually went downhill and actually stabilized, and they're still forcing big things like that, then that's one of the time to get. Uh, so if fearful. it does, but if it doesn't stabilize, you're okay with them just more and more control. Well, it, until it, 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 things actually go back to normal, because we don't want this to be like the flu where they can right. just charge for vaccines just enough where you get the coronavirus flu where uh, shot where you're okay. 
until you need the new one, kind of like the flu shot. So they, okay. Big Pharma just keeps getting more Okay, money. so you're on to Big Pharma. You have some concerns there as well. Because yeah. that's one of my concerns is that Big Pharma is controlling all this, all the numbers and everything. That's who funds the WHO and the CDC. You understand yeah. that, right? I, I still think Big Pharma is like, eh. Yeah, what? That's, that's the part I don't like. It's just Big Pharma and how oh, yeah. every, every time. See, oh. man, we have lots of common ground there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I just think... Maybe masks won't work down quicker, get this done with quicker, and hopefully the big pharma won't have to be the issue. That so, yeah. The yearly coronavirus shot. So here's one more thing I'll just leave you with to kind of think about. In Spokane, I'm from Spokane, yeah. they said uh, about three weeks ago, we had, okay, everyone wears a mask. They threatened businesses. If you allow people in without a mask, we're going to fine you $10,000. So now when you go in, literally, if, I'm the only one that doesn't wear a mask because I just I refuse to be told I have to wear a mask. If someone's going to give me the option and I can make it for myself, okay. But I'm not, especially when the science isn't settled. So, but my point is, when uh, in Spokane, I don't have the opportunity, like now I'm forced to wear a mask. And you said, so if we can get it under control, well, they told us when they started this three weeks ago, well, it only takes four or five days for us to see results from wearing masks. So for three weeks, I've seen everybody in every store I go into wearing a mask. We haven't seen a decrease in the spread of cases. We still are getting record numbers every single day. Yeah. So how are the masks helping? The numbers do not say they're helping. Here, at least, I don't know what's happening in Washington because I live here, Right. but it's, I'm, we were fine, like up until uh, like, to like maybe a month when they ago, started we, doing more testing right no we were no we were yeah. flying completely in standpoint yeah 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 and then more people like you from washington keep coming over i've seen i've seen it like oh so 90 so we should percent of like the vehicle okay. there are washington plates or california plates okay and that the the idaho right. virus count is skyrocket okay so it's, so, it's, so it's people like me that's bringing it. It's not people from Idaho that are going into Washington. Like when I go to the weed stores, this is why I think it's ironic. We all have different laws. Every time I go to a weed store in Washington, it's all Idaho plates. You know, getting, getting that. It couldn't be those people bringing it back. It's Washington people going over there. Or, no, or should we just shut down the border, I guess? A little bit, but most of the spike is I've seen tons of other out-of-state plates like Montana, all right, Utah. All right. Oregon as well. So like summer, I know Sandpoint's obviously a big touristy town, so like summer probably you're seeing a lot more than that especially. So yeah. that, that makes sense that that would attribute to it. And yeah, probably I've heard that. else is shut down, like in Washington, everyone's coming over here and then that's that, right. that would be a good attributor to here because my parents are from Montana and they said the same thing, like they have a touristy town there and it's getting inundated with people from out of state. So that makes sense. Hey man, my name's Corey. It was nice talking with that's you. Okay. Nice talking to you, man. You have a good day. Thanks for supporting my channel and work. Links to all the platforms you can find Questionable Authority on are in the description below. And there's lots of ways to help me grow and dedicate more time to this channel. Of course, links to PayPal, Dash, Bitcoin, and others are listed. But you don't have to part with your capital to support me. There are ways like downloading the privacy-minded Brave browser using my link below and using it for 30 days, or sign up for a new Hive or Steam account and earn cryptocurrency for yourself for doing what you already do on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and at the same time, I'll earn crypto for your upvotes and comments.